on the stage who would like to volunteer. Okay, uh, volunteers, you need to take your shoes off and you can leave them at your seats. So let me tell you a little bit about the um, about the costume. So the Odyssey costume is a silk sari, highly ornamented with silver jewelry, the most prominent of which is the waist belt. The distinctive head ornament, worn with an elaborate knot, represents a temple tower or gopira, which signifies the guru or the teacher. Makeup is applied to emphasize the eyes and eyebrows, and a red spot surrounded with white markings. You can give some up, girls and boys. Um, the red uh, spot surrounded with white markings is placed in the center of the forehead. Ankle bells provide the means for the dancer to synchronize with the musical accompaniment. The music is Hindustani in nature and generally consists of a pakhawaj player, a flutist and a singer. So um, the Odyssey uh, style is based on uh, four basic um, body uh, postures. The first one is choka. Actually, Sumitha is uh, our student and she will demonstrate choka to you. Sumitha, choka? Manan, very good. Thank you. Everyone else, do you want to try that? So, choka uh, literally means square, and the dancer, uh, the, most of the moves are either in choka or in dribhangi. Okay, let's try choka, everyone, first. So you turn your feet out. Turn your feet out. Little one and two. You want to go and join everybody else on this side? So turn the toes out and the heels in. Heels in, toes out. And then bend at the knees. And the knees also have to point to the side. Okay, knees should point forward. They should point to the side. Knees point to the side. And make your hands in the square as well. So that's yoga. And then um, the posture that gives Odyssey its very graceful um, look is uh, Tribhangi, uh, which is a feminine posture. So Tribhangi, mom. So Tribhangi is a three bend posture. There's a bend at the neck, at the waist, and at the um, at the knees. Um, so the right leg is forward. Everybody, right leg a little bit in front. Hands on the waist. Put your hands on the waist. And then you'll have to push your hip out on the left side. Push your hip out on the left side. Although there are several basic body postures, Odyssey technique is characterized by the Tripangi which we just saw, saw, or the three bend posture. There's also Choka which you saw earlier, and there's Sama which is straight, feet together, straight, and Abhanga which is slightly bent at the knees, but feet are still together. Okay, um, from the piece that we just saw, um, there was a lot of use of, uh, we use a lot of hand gestures um, to tell stories um, and, you know, to signify certain words. So, um, the, the first one that we use is pataka, which is um, all the fingers together, and then the thumb needs to be pressed in, like this, pataka. So, who can tell us what we can use show, showing pataka? Any any guesses? What can we stop? Yes. Yeah, stop. What else? Blessing. Yes, blessing. Correct. Very good. Um, how many? Any more? Water. The waves of a river. Um, why don't you try that? Try the waves. Do the taka and the waves. Up and down. Up and down. And also breathe. Pataka can be used to clap. So did you notice that Ram, uh, Lakshman was inside the cottage and Ram clapped and called him. 
participants. And also the sword that uh, Ravan used to cut off the guy's wings. Little ones, do you want to try that?
guys, we're um, you know we're uh, opening up the mic to any questions that you may have for uh, Dipanita or me. Anybody? I just have one question. Uh, sure. Why don't we start with you? Let's start with yours and then I'll talk about mine. Where? Where? Uh, I have uh, still training in Calcutta and in Urbanisha in Orissa. Uh, Calcutta is in, very famous in India and Orissa is south east of India. So, uh, Urbanisha is the capital of Orissa and Calcutta is the capital of very famous. So, in two places I have learned this uh, style, this uh, Odissi dance from a great Odissi guru, Kirchan Mahapatra. And it was a nice spectacular. Thank you. Do you appear at the place here in New York? Yes, so I live here.
the take lessons from that time. And uh, from 1980, from 1980, I started to perform Odyssey <coughs> on the stage. So it is almost 35 years I'm dancing on the stage. And we're so grateful you for coming. Thank you all for coming. Happy Halloween.